Hey everybody, before the show starts, log on to musicmoneymakeover.com slash shop to download all my books and free guides. And while you're there, make sure you click on the book a call tab to book a call with me to get all your questions answered and your problem solved. Enjoy the show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Music Money Makeover show. My name is Casey Graham and you should sign a deal in 2021, right? Should you? I don't know. We're going to jump into it on today's show. If my channel is about music business and not signing a record deal or staying independent for as long as you can, why would you want to sign this record deal in 2021? Well, record deals aren't for everybody, okay? Everybody doesn't want to have this, but but I want you to be clear. Here's our premise for today. We have loans and then we have real estate, all right? And in this video, we're talking about the loan sharks or the lenders being the record label, right? And this type of lender being the record label is the only lender that really knows how to deal with um, the landscape of the recording artists in the recording industry. You might've heard me say in another video that our private lenders or our private hard cash, they really just, they don't understand the music industry. And so therefore they don't really know what to expect when they're trying to loan money. However, the record labels do. So we'll use them as a bank and we'll set them over there, all right? Now, the next part of this will be our digital real estate, right? And our foundation on it. The digital real estate is things like our fan base, our social media, our websites, email lists, all this other thing, all these, all these other things, our e-commerce store, all this stuff, right? Having a digital footprint with our branding of our personality and ourselves. Now that we have that out the way, you should sign a record deal in 2021? Well, let's look at it. Okay, so check this out. For those of you all who should possibly do a record deal, this is what we're looking at right here. The reason why you would choose to do this is because your fan base, remember, we gotta, we gotta take into account everything that has happened this year. Okay, we understand that we're not doing live shows. So the first thing we gotta look at is your fan base. Your fan base is battle-tested through this whole CV situation that has happened during this whole year, all right? Your fan base is still hanging on with you. So it's all good there, right? You might've lost a little bit, but most of them are still there kicking in, hanging with you, making comments and all of this, okay? Your ticket sales to any virtual events that you've done are still great. Your merchandise sales are still great. Across the board sales period, on your foundation for your digital real estate is still good, right? Got the Tony Baker hands happening right here, okay? It's still good. That is a key indicator that, okay, if I am prepped to take on a deal, my odds are pretty good that it's gonna be nice for me, okay? What else would make this situation nice for you, all right? Um, signing a record deal may cause you to take a drop or a significant drop in your recording revenue. Now, because you have your digital real estate, this drop, you wanna be at a place where this drop in revenue does not affect your bottom line or does not affect your operation that you already have going, okay? Because you took in all this time, you built it up, 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 up. When you sign this record deal, they're gonna hold on to your master rights for some time in a licensing deal, or you're gonna do a 50-50 deal partnership with, with them where they'll be a co-owner or whatever. But on this next go around, this next album that you do with them, if you decide to sign, you can afford to take the drop in record revenue, okay? Because your digital real estate is backing it up, right? You're backing it up with virtual events, merchandise, you know, advertisement of little things that you may be selling here and there on a continuous basis, you know, these things will supplement that. You've got enough room to take a loss there so you can take a gain later, all right? So what else would make this a favorable condition for uh, signing a record deal in 2021 amongst all this stuff, okay? Um, I'm gonna say that your foundation, just like I said before, I, I always speak on foundation. Your foundation is built to take on the pressure of the money and the attention influx coming in. Because when the record label comes in, they say, hey, we're giving you a release date. You're coming out here, album's done. You did all that stuff, blase, blase, we're in there. 
your foundation that you built before you got to the record label is now able to take on all of that massive attention that you're gonna get that will come out of the middle of nowhere. So that means your e-commerce store is ready to take the bandwidth. Your website is really ready to take the bandwidth. You might have an assistant on hand that's gonna help you with social media that's ready to take the bandwidth and all the influx of all this new attention that you will be getting, okay? Also, last point on that, right? You might actually wanna boost in merch sales because your merch is doing more than your re recorded revenue, right, your music, which it tends to do that, okay? So if your fan base is strong enough, and they're buying a bunch of merch and other things that you have and music is the byproduct, then you can take a loan on the music and keep your merch. Then it's like, all right, this math makes sense. Music is not my top earner. My merch is, my other stuff is, but I can afford to take a loan on my music so that I can increase the operation on the other side. This is the benefit of digital real estate artists out there. This is, I, I want you all to understand that building proper structure in this game before you move forward is going to be the best thing for you so most of you all who are out there making consistent content all the time not waiting around for the record deal not waiting around for someone to hold your hand and walk you through it and help it help you and you're doing your own research and you're building your foundation and you're building your brand you all are the one who will possibly benefit from doing a record deal in 2021. Now, for those of you all who aren't quite there yet, I'm gonna give you some key indicators to let you know why you might not be there amongst everything that has gone on this year, okay? So, your fan base, you just started it. It's, it's 18 months old or less at this point. That means it hadn't been battle tested and battle approved to take on anything else that may come down the line. Now, mind you, here's a message for you. Okay, I work with major label artists. There is no indication that live, you know, live venues will be opening back up anytime soon right now. And so you kind of got to sneak and do your shows here and there in pockets because certain pockets are open, certain ones aren't. Certain ones, certain venues have social distancing rules which lowers the ticket sales. All right, that may force you to want to bump up your price a little bit, but you can't do it too high because you have to understand what your fan base is willing to pay to come see you live, all right? $40 may be the maximum for some of you all to do these smaller shows here. So if your fan base isn't battle tested and battle approved, then you might wanna take a back seat on this one. Now, having not enough live experience too, knowing how to perform in front of this audience outside of your camera, all right? Because it will come back. Live venue, venues will come back but right now, I don't see it coming back anytime in the future, uh, probably maybe until August of next year. I don't see it coming back in full swing where everybody can have a piece of the action. All right? So that's something that you want to think about. That live experience is key because behind the camera is one thing. Being on stage is another. It's like a boxer training all the time. And you see them training and they look good in training but they never actually get in the ring and do it with crowds of people around them. And then that lets you know who will be ready for that mentality to have the audience look at them and give them that direct response, okay? So if you can find a way to do a show here or there, please do it during this time. Sneak and go do you a show, maybe do you a show out in the park with 10 or 20 people so that you get used to it again. Maybe take some, pull some stuff from the videos I did last week, like doing some house shows or something like that, all right? now. Next thing, the whole premise of this video was digital real estate. So here's another reason why you might not want to sign this deal in 2021 or do a record deal in 2021, all right? You don't have enough digital real estate, meaning that the only thing you have right now is a social media and you're doing micro content and you're hoping to make some streams. If that's all you have, your structure and your foundation isn't done yet, okay? There's other things that you need to put in place and start to work out because Taking a record deal too early will cheapen your value, all right? You'll lose value, right? Because you won't have anything going on and they'll take the brunt of everything. They'll take more risk than you're taking and then you'll end up not having much at all, okay? So you wanna build yourself up, meet them somewhere halfway on the deal, you know? That's, that's what this is about. I'm not here trying to give anybody or sugarcoat anything that, you know, th that takes place in this industry. I'm telling you, you gotta work, all right? What else? What else do you need uh, to sign this deal in 2021? Should you, should you not, okay? 
Uh, you're gonna need some record sales, some proof of what the losses will do with your record sales, okay? If you're gonna take too much loss to your monthly revenue or your income, you don't wanna sign it yet. If the record sales are a key part of your income, it ain't for you, sorry. It's not for you because in order to have a record deal make sense, the loss in record revenue cannot affect you. If it affects you, you got a problem somewhere in your operation. All right, remember we got our social media pages, email lists, we got our text messaging list, we got our, you know, um, our merchandise, our e-commerce store, we got our live show, all this stuff belongs to us. And record sales is a part of it. But if record sales are a key part of your operation and you do a deal and you take that loss in income, your other half is gonna be struggling and that means you're just not ready for it yet. Now, um, another point that we have to look at here, um, you know, your fan base, because it's not battle tested, it may fall if a new media frenzy comes out and everybody gets in the panic mode, all right? So you know how this year was. If something like that happens again, and your fan base is like, screw it, I'm out, man. I can't do it no more. You know, I don't feel like paying attention. My emotions are this way or that way. This ain't for you, right? Your fan base isn't battle tested. They may be fleeting. They're not guaranteed yet, all right? So that something kicks up in the media where people are uncomfortable. They're not gonna be buying. They're not gonna be pay attention, paying attention or anything. They're only gonna be thinking about themselves and their families. So I want you to think about that as an artist, all right? And this is real game I'm giving you. Like, it's not, you know, it might have looked like clickbait in the beginning, but it ain't. So anyway, um, no plan. When there's no plan for expansion, when you say, when the, because this happens a lot. Artists get offered a record deal early, but they haven't built the foundation to the house. They don't have any support to take on all this new stuff. And then they didn't plan for any expansion. It's just that the advance money looked really good to you. Sorry, this ain't for you. You're gonna break. You're either gonna break or something in your foundation is gonna crack and then you're gonna have to build and patch it up while you got this train rolling and chugging along, all right? So you're gonna have to fix on the go. Now, I'm not saying that you don't have to do that anyway because you don't know how much pressure will come to your foundation and your operation and your structure even when you are ready. But I can tell you when you haven't put in the work, it's gonna be even worse because then you're gonna be looking for help. And when you start looking for help, you'll have to start paying this person and that person a percentage and this percentage and that percentage. Instead of gradually adding those percentages on, you're gonna to have to pay out those percentages really fast and then that's when you get left with nothing, okay? So, last point I'm gonna make here in this video. Um, you're too understaffed. And I actually just, just hit that point. Being too understaffed means that like, you know, like I said, you're gonna have to make up for it on the fly, on the go really fast, making a even more significant loss in revenue because by the time you get everything under control, you'll look back at what you did and you'll say, man, I don't have much left, do I? And truth is, no, you don't, okay? So anyway, you all look, make sure you please uh, visit musicmoneymakeover.com and uh, jump into the document, I mean the documents, the books and guides that I have. And, and make sure you watch some of the other videos on the channel because a lot of you have time now with all this whole shutdown thing. So uh, go watch some of the other videos on the channel. I, I promise you, you will get a lot of information from these videos, all right? This is game for you, this is knowledge for you. I'm the manager you never had, but I'm your virtual guy, I'm your virtual agent, your virtual whatever, all right? If you need to book a call, book a call and I'll see you all later in the week. Peace. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the show. Make sure you log on to musicmoneymakeover.com forward slash shop to download all my books and free guides. And while you're there, click on the book a call tab to book a call with me to get all your questions answered and problems solved. I'll see you all soon.